morning it's another tuesday so it means it's time for tuesday thought with me claudette Hello, regular viewers of my uh, vlogs and readers of my blog at www.claudettepsterine.com know that on a Tuesday morning I shared with I share with you a Jamaican proverb, one that underpins, highlights, underscores the conversation that we have been having. The conversation that we've been having this month has been on the topic of the seven deadly sins and the counterpart virtues to those sins. Are these still relevant um, in today's society with all that's going on, with all the changes, all the adjustments that we have a, as a people have evolved and how we're now living our lives? Are these sins still relevant? And today we're looking at the last um, virtue. As I said, we looked at sins and we look at the counterpart virtue, those things that will offset, let us say, the sins. And just so that you understand, for me, how I use the word sin is in the classical sense, mistakes that we make as humans becoming. So for the last um, virtue that we're looking at um, this week, actually, yesterday on the blog, I posted about lust and um, gluttony, gluttony, sorry. Um, and today we're looking at temperance, which is the last in the series. And what is temperance? Just to be mm, clear, temperance is uh, moderation, doing things in balance. I actually really like um, the word balance. And the proverb, the Jamaican proverb, that I'm using to, to highlight this thought today is it goes like this. I'll say it first in Jamaican, then I'll explain in English. So it goes, um, Nyam some today, left some for tomorrow. That means eat some today, leave some for tomorrow. You know, as people, we have a tendency, you know, we have something really nice, you know, and we just want to eat it all up in one sitting, forgetting about tomorrow. While um, we have to live in the now, which I appreciate that, and I absolutely do that, um, we also have to be temperate, be um balanced in, in, in how we go about our life, you know. Um, let us take relationships, you know, every day, you know, you're over the top in love with somebody and then the next minute you hate each other. Where is the middle ground? That's another wonderful way of, of, of explaining the word temperance, the middle ground, walking the middle line, um, having balance in your life. And that is a question for you as we look to begin June a new month, the sixth month of the year. And what we're doing on my blog um, this June is to look at where are you with those intentions? Um, where are you with those resolutions that you might have said? Are you in balance? Have you been moderate about it? Have you been um, carefully, mindfully looking at how you are going about achieving those, you know, some of you want to lose weight and you go to the extreme in your weight loss and in your dieting program only to regain the weight that you might have lost or start to eat all those things that you said you weren't going to eat. Um, that's where temperance come in, you know, just moderating yourself, keeping an even skill, being on balance. And um, so that's the thought for today. Eat some today leave some for tomorrow. Or if you prefer the Jamaican, nyam some today, left some for tomorrow. Have a wonderful rest of the week. Remember, every life, everything is about balance. And, you know, nothing is ever too good and nothing is ever too bad. Things can be just as it is, just right. It, it also depends on perspective. So do join us for the rest of the week, the rest of this new month of June, um, as we look at the intentions, those promises that you made. And maybe it's time to make some new promises now that we're halfway through the year. And um, the regular contributors to my blog will be joining me again this month to share some of those promises some of the ways that they themselves are keeping in balance so thank you for joining me this is another early morning yes here i am on my couch really tired not wanting to wake up but you know you have to do what you have to do 
I love you as always. Have a wonderful rest of the week. Namaste.